Assalamu alaikum students. This is your teacher, Ms. Rada Asif, your mathematics teacher from SM Public Academy, Campus 5. The students, today we are going to discuss in chapter number 6, linear equation and in equations, we are going to discuss some linear equations and their solutions. So, student, in this slide, you can see the standard form of linear equation. In such equation, you can see that there is a variable x and y. Both are having the coefficient 1, the power 1. So, this is called the linear equation. These variables are along with the coefficient a and b, right? And ax plus by is equals to c. Now, what is c here? c is the constant, okay? Without the variable, the, the c is called the constant. So, linear equation student, if we are discussing only one variable, so, linear equation with one variables are those having the variable with an exponent 1, right? Ax plus b is equals to 0. Uh, usually, we are not going to show the power 1 on x. So, we will write Ax plus b is equals to 0, right? Now, what is uh, what was solution or root of the linear equations? I have already discussed you in my previous lecture that what is the solution and root of the linear equation? The student, if, for example, if the equation is x plus 1 is equals to 9, uh, for such kind of equation, we have to find the root or solution. If I solve this equation, what I have to do this one is adding over here. It will move on the right hand side. It becomes 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 gives you the answer 8. The student, if you put the value of 8, if the put if you put the value of x in the given equation, that is x plus 1 is equals to 9. If I put the value of x 8 in the in this equation, it will become 8 plus 1. It will become 8 plus 1, right? 8 plus 1 give you the answer 9. That means it is satisfying this root, the solution set is satisfying the given equation. So, this is called the root or solution of the given equation for which the equation becomes true. Now, let's take some examples. Two uh, examples for how we can solve equations with the different operations. In our first question, we can see in our first question, we can see the student, this 4 is adding with y, right? If 4 is adding with y, we only want the answer, we only want the solution for y. So, it will move to the right-hand side and it will become 8, it will become 8 minus 4. Right, it will become 8 when it will move to the right hand side student. It will become 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 gives you the answer 4. It will give you the answer 4. Right? So the solution set will be 4. And if students, if you put the value of y in the given equation, it will satisfy your equation. Because 4 plus 4 is 8. Right? 
Now, what about the second question? In the second question, we can see that this 4 is subtracting from y. When it will move to the to another hand side, it will become 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 gives you the answer 12. Okay? If here this 4 is dividing with y, it will move to the another hand side and it will become 8 into 4, right? If the number is dividing, it will be on the left, uh, on another hand side, it will become multiplication. Operation will be converted. If, uh, if in the question division is over there, it will be converted into multiplication. And if in the question, the coefficient is multiplying with the variable, what will happen on the second step if you want only the value of y? This 4 is going to be divided. But avoid writing 4 over 8. What you have to do if you want to find the value of y and the coefficient is multiplying with the variable, it will move another side and it will become 8 over 4. So don't write 4 over 8. You have to write you have to write 8 over 4. So it will become 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8. So the solution set by gives you the answer 2. Clear? So these are the simple explanations for these equations. So let's come on the next so students here if you can see the question x minus 3 over 5 is equals to 1 over 3 we want to solve it that means we have to find the value of x. We find the solution set for x. This minus 3 over 5 is subtracting with the x. When it will move to the right hand side, it will become 1. What it will become? Student, it will become... It will become like this. This is subtracting on the left hand side. When it will come on the right hand side, it becomes 3 over 5 minus 1 over 3. Right? Now, what we have to do in such conditions, we have to find the LCM. Right? After finding the LCM, we get 15. How we get the LCM? 3 and 5. In the denominator, we can see that there is a number 5 and 3 over there, right? So we get 3 ones are 3, right? And 5 will be written as it is. And on the next step, on the next step, students, we will write 5 ones are 5. So we get 5 threes are 15, right? So we get 5 threes are 15. We get the LCM 15 over there. So students, 5 is multiply with 3 to get 15, right? So, 3 is going to be multiplied with the numerator. We get 3 into 3 in the numerator. Now, what will happen to the next term? 3, 5s are 15. And 5 is going to be multiplied with the numerator. That is 1. So, we get 3 into 3 minus 5 into 1. 
three threes are we get three threes are nine minus five ones are five. So we get nine minus five. Nine minus five is four. Right? So easily we get the answer. Nine minus five is four over fifteen. So the solution set x is equals to four over fifteen. Right. In the next question, we can see that three x minus two over ten is equal to seven x minus three over fifteen minus two. How we how can we solve this question, student? This minus 2 is subtracting over here it will move to the right hand next hand side it will becomes plus 2 and this 3x minus 2 over 10 is adding is having no sign over there it will move to the another hand side it will becomes minus 3x minus 2 over 10 now if you find the lcm of 15 and 10 we get 30 right we get 30 students so the students 15 into 2 is 30 so this 2 is going to be multiplied with the numerator we get 7 we get 2 into 7x minus 3 Right now, what about the second term? This 10 is going to be multiplied with 3. 10 3s are 30, and this 3 is going to be multiplied with our numerator. We get 3 into 3x minus 2. After multiplication of after multiplication with 2 and 3 in the numerator. On the next step, we get 7 into 2 is 14x minus 3 2s are 6, minus 3 3s are 9x, then minus minus plus 3 2s are 6. Right? Now, arrange the like terms together, we get 14x minus 9x. And what about minus x plus 6? It is going to be cancelled. Okay? 14 minus 9 gives you the answer 5x over 13. Now, student, we only want x. Right? We only want x. So, this 30 is dividing. Over here, it will move to the left hand side. It becomes 30 twos are 60. And this 5 is multiplying over here. It will move to another side and it will become 60 over 5. Right? So we get 5 ones are 5, 5 twelves are 60. So the solution set X gives you the answer 12. A student in our exercise 6.1, we can see that some radical signs are also there. Students, how can we solve the radical equations? They are not difficult. Their solutions are not difficult. Let's discuss how to solve the radical equations. We have to remember the steps for solving the radical equations. Students, first we have to isolate the radical sign. Step number two, we have to square both the sides of the equation. Step number three, we have to solve for the x. In this example, you can see that there is a radical sign in our question. First, what we have to do, we have to shift this minus 1 on another side. So, what we have done, we have added plus 1 on the both sides to cancel this minus 1 that is in the question. 
right? What we have to do, we have to isolate the radical sign, right? After cancellation of plus one and minus one, we get the radical sign on the left hand side only. Now, in this step, what we can do, we can just square the both sides of the equation and we can easily find our solution. Students, now on this step, I want to show you the solution, not by the slide. I want to manually show it, show solutions to you to make you clear that solving the radical sign, solving the radical equations is not as much difficult as you think of it. So, I'm turning my camera on just to explain you that how much easy such kind of questions are. So, let me turn on a video. Yes, it's true. So you can see the question. The question is find the solution set of the given equations and also verify the answer. Find the solution set of the given equation. So is it the equation? It contains the radical sign. Doesn't matter, student. It's an equation because on the left hand side you can see that this is an expression. But why it becomes equation? Because it contains the sign of equality, right? So we have to find the solution set. That means we have to find the value of x. What is the step number one? Whenever there is a radical sign, what 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 must be the step number one? Step number one must be isolate the radical sign. Isolate the radical sign means what. Ever written outside the radical sign, just remove it. How can we remove it? This 5 is adding over here. When it will move to the right hand side, it becomes, it becomes 7 minus 5. Right? So 7 minus 5 gives you Right? So, step number one is isolate the radical sign. We have already isolated our radical sign. This 5 is adding over here. It will move to the right hand side. It becomes 7 minus 5, 2. Step number two, radical sign is there. What we have to do to find the value of x, we have to square. We have to take the square of the radical sign. The students, I have already told you in my physical class that what is the meaning of this root? It's root. This radical sign means power half. How can I remove the radical sign? To remove this radical sign, we have to take the square. Okay? When we take the square, this square and power half is going to be cancelled. Okay? So, what we can write over here, we can write squaring on both sides we have squaring on both sides by squaring on both sides what we have By squaring on both sides, we get x root square and 2 square. The students, 2 and root is cancelled due to the power half and this is a square. It's cancelled. So, we get x is equal to 2 is multiplying twice. 
So we get two into two is four, right? For example, if there is a three square, so three is multiplying twice. We get three into three, so threes are nine, right? So here the value of x is four. But remember, in this question, we have to also verify our answer. So for the verification, students, for the verification, we have to put x is equals to 4 in the given question. By putting this value of x4 in the given equation, which equation? The equation which was which was given to you. Okay, we have to put the value of 4 over here by putting this value in our given question. 4, 7. What is a square root of 4? What is a square root of 4? 2. Right? 2 twos are 4. So we get square root of 4 is 2. So 7 plus 2 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So this means left hand side is equal to right hand side. This is called the verification. What do you have to simply do students? After finding the value of x, you have to put the value in the given question. And if the left-hand side and right-hand side both are equal, that means you have verified your answer. It's just really sometimes the obtained root from the radical equation does not satisfy the original equation. So, such kind of root is called the extraneous root. Right? So, here, this value of x, this root is satisfying our given question, our given equation. So, thus, solution set is 4, right? So, our answer, our solution set is 4. Student, please remember that whenever you are asked for the solution set, you have to mention the answer in a proper way. In last, you have to write down that the solution set must be written in within the curly bracket and this is your answer. This is your solution for solving the radical sign equation. Now tell me, is it difficult? Is it difficult to solve the radical sign? Obviously not. So let's take one more question. Now, what is the step number one? Step number one, isolate the radical sign. Isolate the radical sign means that if anything that is written outside the radical sign, just remove it. If it is written minus 2 over there, we have to uh, move that minus 2 on the right hand side. But in this question, we can see that both the sides containing the radical signs. And nothing is written outside the radical. So in this step, we have to start with the squaring on both sides. By squaring on both sides, we have got, we got, by squaring both the sides, students, again, I'm telling you what is the meaning of the root, what is the meaning of this radical sign? Baba half. Half power and square will be. Sir? 
So we get four x plus five is equals to three x minus seven. Clear? Now this three x is no sign is there. So this three x is adding over here. It will move to the left hand side. It becomes four x minus three. This five is adding over here. When it moves to the right hand side, it becomes minus five, right? So four minus three, students, four minus three is one. But there is no need to write one as an coefficient. So write down x is equals to minus seven minus five. Same signs are there. What we have to do? Seven plus five, twelve. But the sign will be negative, right? Plus seven plus five plus twelve minus seven minus five minus twelve. Okay. So here we get the answer. X is equals to twelve. But again, what we have to do? What we have to do, students? We have to do the verification of all. So on this step, we have to do the verification. So for the verification, we have to just put the value. We have to put the value of this x in our given question, in our given equation to satisfy it. And if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, that means we have verified the answer. We have to verify the equation by putting these value of x in the given question. And if the left hand side and right hand side will be equal, that means we have verified our answer. Now, students, 12, 4, 12 into 4 is, 12 fours are 48, and plus minus, minus, plus 5. And plus minus, minus, 12 threes are 13, six minus seven now students on the left hand side please avoid such kind of mistakes when you are adding and subtracting the numbers together you are always you are always having problems in adding and subtracting the numbers students whenever the different signs are there right Plus and minus different signs are there. What we have to do? We have to subtract, right? 48 minus 5, 43. But the sign will be of the bigger value. This is the negative number is bigger. So we will write minus 43. So different signs, we have to subtract. Same signs are there. We have to add 36. 36 plus 7 give you the answer. 43. Correct. And sign will be of negative. Right. When same signs are there, we have to add. When different signs are there, we have to subtract. Sign will come of the bigger value. Right. So students, here we can easily see that left hand side and right hand sides are equal. So thus solution set is what is what will be the solution set? Please don't write minus 43 over there. What, what was your answer? Your answer was minus 12. So within the curly bracket, you have to write down minus 12. Right? 
minus 20. So this is your solution for the given question. Okay. I hope that both the solutions are clear to you. So students, in this way, we can find the solution of our radical equation. What I want from you, I want you to solve question number five from page 127. Solve all the bits, try to solve all the bits by yourself and uh, we will discuss these solutions together in our physical class. Correct? So please, in your loop sheets, try to solve question number five. And we will discuss, inshallah, in our physical class. If you will find any problem during the solution, you can ask me. All right? So... See you, inshallah. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. At least. Do practice of these questions at your home. Okay? Allah Hafiz.